All right, hello everybody. We are back with more Trauma Center. Um, let's just jump right in. I don't got much to say today. The healing touch. Dormant ability. What the heck happened during the last operation? It almost felt like time was slowing down. Am I losing it? I knew exactly what needed to be done, but I'm not sure I knew ha how I knew that. Ugh, now I'm talking in circles. I need to sit down and figure- Derek! Pay attention! Huh? I, I mean I was. Stop daydreaming and start taking your job seriously. I I'm sorry. We need to have a meeting about Mr. Pratt's operation. Angie, can you handle prep for that? Yes, of course, Doctor. Multiple thrombi present due to waste blockage. Immediate removal required to prevent further complications. Oh shit, is this a transplant one? Uh, Let's go over the, oper the procedure for Mr. Pratt's operation. He's been suffering from dizziness and nausea lately. Oh, mood. Tests show that wastes accumulated in his spleen and are now blocking the blood vessels there. Today's objective is to remove the buildup of thrombi. I think that's how you say that? The contrast medium was administered 30 minutes ago in an IV. Because of that, you should be able to find the waste material using an ultrasound. Once it shows a shadow, try clipping near the area with the forceps. It should stop moving, then make your incision and drain the area. This is a sensitive operation, so you'll need to be making proper use of the magnification. Remove all the thrombi in the vessels. That is all. If further waste blockage occurs, the patient's vitals will drop. Stay calm and Let's keep steady. Do, 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 do. I love begin. this game. I, I genuinely love this game. I thought about becoming a trauma surgeon because of this Doctor. game. The contrast medium is working well. We've confirmed the problem area. The thrombi causing the vessel blockage is originating here. Work carefully. Use magnification. Magnification successful. Doctor. Please continue. We need to use the ultrasound to locate there. the thrombi. Oh my fucking god, there are so many. Uh, rude, rude. Uh, let's get these two out. Drain the area. God, I fucking hate this one. I think it- Doctor. Fuck. Oh, bullshit. 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 Fuck you. Right, I have to stop it with the pincers. Do they automatically drain out? Yeah, they do. Okay. So I don't have to, like, remove it with the- Fuck you. I can see it. I can see it. Fuck you. Drain. That Doctor. sucks. Doctor! What? Oh god, it's... The change in blood flow is causing the suspended thrombi to move too. Doctor, this is bad. Uh, yeah, okay. Concentrate. Oh, shit. Everything's slowing down. I did it again. Shoop. It's fine. He's gonna be fine. Let's try to... Yeah, 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 baby. Punch, 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 punch. If you wait too long, they will, um, start moving again. Amazing. Doctor, what just... No thrombi detected. Treatment is complete. Suture the incision and the operation will be complete. Done. Dr. Styles. Amazing work, Dr. Styles. That was impressive. Thanks. I can stop time. Thanks for finding me impressive, Angie. I love that when we stitch him up, he like is completely scar-free. No mistakes, really? I okay, yeah. I was like, what? No way. You actually might be a pretty good surgeon, Dr. Styles. Huh? You were practically a different person in there. Just like yesterday. Come to think of it, it did kind of feel like I was someone else. If you were always focused like that in the ORR, I wouldn't have to worry as much. Uh, you worry about me? I definitely worry about your patients. Oh. <laughs> 
Angie, I'd like to review the footage of today's operation. Of course, sir. I'll bring it to you later. If we're right, then we should be able to tell from watching the tape. <gasps> Gasp! Dr. Castle, I think is his name, if I remember correctly, thinks that we are... We might have a superpower. He might know about it. <gasps> Gasp! I called you here today to warn you about something. Dr. Castle tells me you have shown the potential for the healing touch. He healing touch? You don't know? No. Doctors with the healing touch can cure incurable diseases. They can even save patients who are within an inch of death. I don't know how long this gift has existed, but the Greeks believed such doctors were descendants of... Acolypse? Ac That's what we're gonna go with. You mean the god of medicine? Me? Those with the healing touch have certain special qualities. The keenest judgment, unbreakable focus, unmatched surgical skill. Have you noticed any changes during your operations? Uh, well, sometimes it starts to feel like time is moving much slowly than usual. Hmm, that must be the result of your extraordinary concentration. It definitely marks you as capable of the healing touch. So I concentrate so hard that time feels like it slows down. That's, that's my superpower. You need to forget about them. Those things are unnecessary. W what If you pursue this, yes, you will become an unparalleled surgeon. But are you prepared to, for the pain it would bring you? Derek, a doctor's hands are uh, heavy with responsibility. What the fuck do you mean? It's my job. It's my job to do everything in my power to help my patients. If I have a superpower that helps with that, why would I not use it? Patients depend on us. They put their lives in the hands of ours. Can you imagine how heavy that burden would be with the healing touch? There aren't very many doctors who could endure such a weight. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, so a little background on me. I wanted to be a trauma surgeon because when I was really little, I wanted to be a doctor and then I got exposed to these games and I was like, I'll be a trauma surgeon. And then the reality slapped me in the face of people are going to die on your table. And I was like, I'm not going to close up my heart because I'm a big softy just because, y you know, because I would have to. If that many people are dying on my table, I would, uh, I would have to close up my heart and be kind of cold. And I didn't want that, so I went and became an artist instead. That being said, just because you have a superpower doesn't mean people aren't going to die on your table. Like, it means less people will die on your table, but... So this, this, this thing he's telling us doesn't make any, any sense. Any sense at all to me. Because if you're a doctor, you should be doing everything in your power to save your patients. And if you have a superpower, you should be using it. And less people will die if, it, if you do use it. Forget about the power and become a normal doctor, he says. You'll never be happy otherwise. What the fuck are you talking about? For my own good? Think of it this way. Right now, you're standing at a door, knocking. If you continue to knock, that door will eventually open. But you can also turn your back on it, and it should stay closed. Why not take a vacation? Get your mind off surgery for a while. B but I... Trust me, it's for your own good. What? I mean, I don't... What? <laughs> Just what? Like... If you don't want- if you can't handle being a surgeon, like me, you can't handle being a surgeon. That's it. That's- that's the end of the statement. What's wrong, Derek? You should be- shouldn't we be checking on patients? Dr. Castle, do you think I should stop trying to improve as a doctor? So you spoke with Hoffman. I was hoping the news about your abilities might motivate him to start operating again. What? Why would it do that? Back when the director was still operating on patients, he named the skill the healing touch and accepted its gifts. What? He has it too? But then something happened. He hasn't operated on anyone since. All because of one mistake. Can you believe how heavy that burden is with the healing touch? Yeah, whatever. I lost one person and it was someone important to me and now I can't do surgery no more. Can I really do it? Can I master the healing touch? Well, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not the one with your abilities, but I know that if you tend to use this power to help people, you need to take command of it. Take command? Yes, you shouldn't be halfway with something like this. One simple mistake changed the director's entire life. 
He delved too far into something he couldn't understand. I think you can learn a lot from the director's mistake. If you can't control this power, then it's going to cost you. What do you mean he delved too far in it and you're telling me to delve into it? So you think I could do it? Your skills seem to involve focus, so try concentrating on that. Once you adjust, make sure you're able to make this decision for yourself. I can't fully understand the healing touch because I'm not you or Dr. Hoffman, but in the end, nobody's going to be able to make this decision for you. Good luck, Derek. I need to focus on concentration. My dad always used to say I could never concentrate on anything. You might have ADHD, my dude. He told me to imagine one shape, a star, or a triangle, and focus on that. Pretty sure he just made that up, but it definitely came in handy for exams. Maybe I could do that now. I'll imagine a star, because fuck you. Alright, it's time for this. <laughs> so... This is actually kind of a bit of a hard operation because of how finicky the star drawing mechanics are in this game. Now I'll visualize a star. Concentrate, concentrate. Okay, now I can do it. Beep, 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 beep. Alright. Healing touch. The power of Eclipus. First I'll recall the procedure. I'm looking at the patient. Let's see. I think I test tensed my ingot finger. What? Well, yeah. Concentrate. You remember exactly how you did this. And then with the B button. This is all wrong. Oh, I need to be quicker and precise. It's hard to concentrate when wrong. I'm so this is shut all the wrong. fuck up. I'm trying to read out loud. Concentrate. Tense my other hand, B. It's hard to concentrate when I'm so tense. Maybe if I draw a star in the air. What? What? One more time. Almost. I was close. I could feel it. Bam, 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 bam. My eyes are burning. I need to keep at this, though. Okay, for real this time. Concentrate. Bam, 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 bam. Fuck off. One more time. This is all wrong. Bitch. Bitch. This is all wrong. Bitch. This is it, exactly like before. I have the healing touch. Ugh, maybe I already did it. I gave myself a headache. Okay, that was not as bad as some of the other issues I've had with this with this game. Alright, I got a D. That's not great. I don't like that. That hurts my ego. But I did fail a couple of them because um, if you hold down B too long, it starts the next star, but it doesn't start the next star for like a full, like, three seconds. It was weird. I might be able to handle the healing touch after all. As long as you never make any mistakes ever again. Do you understand? It's okay, I'll make enough money and I can retire early because I'm a fucking surgeon. And surgeons make a lot of money and can retire early. That concludes our meeting. Please review the information again on your own. We should just move on to the surgical conference to save time. The doctor's involved, please stick around. We're starting, doctor. Dr. Stiles, pay attention. Huh? Oh, sorry. I guess I didn't hear you. Is everything alright? You've been staring at that x-ray for a long time. Oh, I was just going over today's operation again in my mind. Anyway, let's get to the conference. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. He's spacing out a lot lately. At least he's concentrating hard on something, I guess. Multiple aneurysms have formed on the surface of the large intestine. Requires sedative treatment and suturing of affected vessels. Today's patient is Mr. Kovac, who was carried in this morning. He's currently not doing very well. I wouldn't think he is. And tests showed a number of aneurysms near his large intestine. Some of them have ruptured, and there is a risk of anema. We need to perform a lap lapor lapa laparotom laparotomy and get these aneurysms under control. The objection of the objection. The objective of the operation is treat the aneurysms on the outer membrane of the patient's large intestine. That should be all. Uh, yeah, first inject the sedative, and then you eat, cut it out, and then we suture it closed. And then we'll use the magnification. Don't worry about Let's anything else. Okay. Let's 
begin. Let's begin. Doctor. Oh, okay. Yep. These. It's this. Um. Can do. Can Use handle. Magnification. You're a whore. Okay. Careful. I almost called her a whore, but you want to know what? Angie's not. Well done. Angie is so good. She is Announce a perfect chance. nurse. Doctor. We have to reconnect the vessels that were cut, but there's a lot of then blood forceps. in the area. So drain first, then we do the forceps, and then we... Good work. Good. That's great. Oh no! Cease magnification! Aha! Uh -huh. What? Again? Continue the operation. We must continue to treat them all. Uh, da da da. Bitch. Fuck. I can't believe I missed that. That was awful. I'm not. Then four steps. I'm not a speedrunner. Do 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 do. Eh. Do not burst, sir. Doctor! D bitch! Oh god, sorry, Angie. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I should. I will never call you that again. I can't promise that. I'm really sorry, Angie. Do not burst. No! It's fine. It's fine. Sorry, I got really loud there for a second. Well done. Uh. I am too. I'm too slow at this game now. I that drives me absolutely bonkers. I was really good at this game. Please understand that not being absolutely perfect at this game is like a little stressful. Oh! Do not, do not burst. Okay, we're gonna take a moment while that is down to do this because if another one bursts, that's like 20, it's like 20 vitals or something like that. And if I'm already cutting people, if I'm already cutting people open, you know? That's the wrong thing. Please. Good work. I said it. think it's settled down for the time being. No. We should wait a moment just before. This isn't good. Hurry up and treat it. Maybe bam, 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 bam. There. So you don't actually need the healing touch for this thing. If you can treat uh, two of these at the Doctor. same... Fuck off. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, healing touch is not gonna last much longer. Shit. That sucks. Oh, I'm so slow at this game now. Okay, this one's draining bad. So let's deal with that. Oh god! Do not burst. I see you up there. Do not think about it. Do not think about it, sir. Okay. Oh, right at the last second. Was that the healing touch? It's incredible, but at the same time, it's a little frightening. If every doctor had that ability, what would the medical world look like? Uh, I'm sorry. Let's close him up. A lot less people would die, but a lot less people would be allowed to be doctors, is what would happen. Nice work, Dr. Styles. Operation complete. Great work. Ooh, I get so tense playing this game. I'm really competitive with this game, specifically. Like, I'm seeing my bad scores. Like, I'm seeing, like, the C's and the B's, and I'm like, mm -mm, let's redo it. Mm -mm, let's redo it. So I finally understand how you figured out how to use the healing touch. Make sure you don't rely on it too much. You need to develop your basic skills, too. Huh? What the? I know it won't be easy, but you didn't take this job because... Everything's going black. Derek, are you even listening? Derek, what's wrong? I don't know, Doc, I, I fainted, is what happened. Paying the price. And then we never have to deal with this again. Where it's like, oh, you're damaging your body, but then I use it like 17 operations in a row. Forget about that power, but I... Are you prepared for the pain that it would bring you? I became a doctor so I could help people. And if it cost you your life, you'd give up your own happiness? I don't know, but I do know that people need my help, and I want to help them. What? Where am I? 
It's the ceiling. What am I doing here? <laughs> Are you up on the ceiling? Dr. Styles! Angie, what happened? After Kovacs, Mr. Kovacs' surgery, you just collapsed. You've been asleep for three days. Uh-oh, three days. What about my patients? And I have operations scheduled. Already taken care of, Derek. I called in the other doctors. But it's in the past. We need to discuss how you're going to proceed from here. Okay. Derek, I forbid you from using the healing touch like that. But why would you? That ability puts a tremendous amount of physical strain on your body. It's too risky. What if you collapsed in the middle of a procedure? Then another doctor would just walk over... What? But without my healing touch, Mr. Kovac might have died. Exactly. That's why you mustn't abandon the healing touch. I'd advise you to use it only when absolutely necessary. After all, you shouldn't be relying solely on the healing touch anyway. We, we have to. Some of the later surgeries, we absolutely have to. Developing your natural skills as a surgeon is far more important. We can't assume the healing touch is the only reason Kovac survived. If you want to help people and focus on strengthening your natural abilities, I understand. Take it slowly. I'm sure the power inside you will find its way out. Become the best surgeon you can, and one day you'll inherit the full heritage of whatever the fuck his name is. Anyway, yes, sir. Oh. So dramatic. This game is so fucking dramatic. Doctor, an emergency patient was just carried in. Vitals at 60, CS is 300. She's in shock and losing blood fast. Call the rest of the staff. We need to operate immediately. Angie, get the patient to the OR. Derek, you handle the surgery. I'm on it. Look, it's an actual trauma surgery. Because we're a trauma center. Amazing. We've had a couple trauma surgeries, but we've had a lot of, like... The patient came in, and we've planned this for a while, surgeries, too. And I'm like, what? No. <laughs> All right. Several bleeding lacerations found in the right lung. Patient's vitals are unstable, necessitating an extreme caution. Patient is a 17-year-old female. Her case history is unknown. We found massive bleeding in her thoracic cavity. Derek, need to perform a le lobectomy immediately. This operation has one objective. Treat all injuries with the thoracic within the thoracic cavity. We'll proceed from there. Drain the blood first. It's a, if it's a large laceration, then use the fourth. Okay, yes, I know how to deal Let's get started. with lungs. Oh, <gasps> this is our first. Oh, uh huh. Okay, uh huh. I was like, oh, this, this is, is the same time. as this other surgery, and I'm like, <gasps> okay. Spoiler alert. We're getting into the good shit. We're gonna get into the good shit soon. What? How could something like this happen? There aren't any external wounds. This isn't possible. No, it doesn't matter what caused it. We need to stop that bleeding. Let's do this. Uh, we need the- f oh shit. Okay, let's- we're gonna stitch her up first, is how we do this. Just because the other ones take so long. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we want her vitals to be as high as possible. And the more wounds on the patient, the faster the vitals drain. Okay, yes. I- I am aware. I know- I am a master at this game. Good work. Ooh, yeah, a uh, master. Oh, please. Okay, everything's sutured. She's gonna make it. I hate to think what would have happened if she'd arrived later. Yep. She's fine. We're never gonna have another issue with this patient ever again. Never again. Nice yep, yeah, everything's Styles. fine. The operation was a success. You did well, Derek. It was really weird. I wonder what happened. I mean, we'll never figure it out. It's just a mystery. Did I get an S? Ah, oh, yeah! Mmm, I feel sexy whenever I get an S. No, not really. I just feel really good. <laughs> what? Where did those injuries come from? I don't know. It'll probably take some time to figure out. She'll be hospitalized for a few days, so let's keep an eye on her. Did you notice those cuts along the girl's wrists? Yeah, they looked recent. I'd say her real illness is deeper than we thought. If that's the case, I don't think we're gonna finish be seeing... I don't think we're finished seeing complications. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. 
I'm like dancing in my seat a little bit. Okay, so content warning, suicidal thoughts and stuff. I, I think you kind of figured that by the title of the last chapter. Oh, I never asked you to save me, leave me alone. Please calm down, Miss Reed, it's all right. When I passed out, I could feel it. My chest was on fire. I was finally going to be free. Why did you bring me back? I didn't want to live. Why would you want to die, Derek? There's, it's, you're still young. You have your whole life ahead of me? Yeah, there's something to look forward to, huh? How come everyone says that? My life sucks. I'm tired of all this pain. I'm not pretty enough to date popular guys. I'm too fat. Is this what? My mom called me a failure yesterday because I might not even graduate. Is this the life you'd want? I'm never going to be happy. Yikes. I at least made it past high school. Depends on my attitude. What a joke. A positive outlook won't just magically solve all my problems. And then Angie comes in, then maybe you should die! There are patients here who have prob- had to fight just to breathe properly. Every day someone dies after a long, painful struggle to hold on. I'm sorry we saved you. Go end your life for all I care. And then Angie had the gall to lecture me on Bedside Manor the other day. I know you did your best, Doctor, but I'm afraid it was a wasted effort. Stop talking like that, Angie. I have other things to attend to. I'm sorry you had to waste your time operating on me. Helping someone is never a waste of time. Just leave me alone. I don't blame that nurse for hating me. I hate me too. I'm not going anywhere. You're still sick. What kind of surgeon are you then? I thought you fixed me. It's not that kind of sickness. A doctor's job is more than, than a, just physical illnesses. It's really not. That's a psychiatrist's job. <laughs> nurse Angie taught me that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I haven't played this since I was like 14. And now that I'm like older and I've struggled with suicidal thoughts and stuff, she's like, I'm so fat! And my mom called me a failure once! And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, not to downplay how she feels and all, but like, dog. And then Derek's gonna come in here and be like, I had a cat one day. And one, when we were playing one day, he ran out into the street. I wasn't fast enough to do anything. A car hit him and I blamed myself. I decided it was my fault Tama died. I thought I really had killed my cat. It was all I could think about. I told my mom I did a terrible thing and I wanted to die. What happened then? She slapped me hard. She told me that Tama would be ashamed of me and that she was too. But she also said, that I should be the one the most ashamed of myself. She said that to you? Who'd you grow up with, Linda? Huh? Do you have any siblings or pets? Just my parents and my friends at school, I guess. Could you look those people in the eye and tell them that you wanted to die? No way, of course not. That's why I want to be left alone. Then hold this, Amir. Look at that girl and say, Oh god, I can't read this. I couldn't do it either. Now tell that her that you're sorry. I think that she deserves an apology. She's sorry. Stop worrying about other people and start making that girl happy. Don't work hard in school for your mom's sake. Do it because you'll learn more. Become a better person. Don't let other people decide whether or not you're happy. Find things you enjoy and do them. Sure, Derek. We'll just fucking do that, man. Thanks for the advice. You're just... Mwah, you're a great... Psychiatrist. <laughs> it might not make you popular, but it'll like you'll like yourself a lot more. And you're not fat. I've seen your charts, remember? Your mom sounds like a smart lady. Really, she could be really weird sometimes, but then she'd say, I might be weird, but think of all the stories you'll have to tell one day. That's interesting. Cough. Uh, sorry. I guess I got a little carried away. Really, though, she's great. I should let you last now. I think I'm gonna take a nap. That's a good idea. I'm sorry for talking so much. Next time, thank you. My depression is cured. <laughs> so now that we've cured depression, now that we've cured depression, um, 
No, let's keep going. I was gonna think that we could just stop the episode, but, like, this has been a lot of, like, story. Woo, time for a break. Let's go get us some coffee. Thanks, that's a great idea. I passed Linda Reed's room on the way here, but is something wrong? Her parents were there. All three of them started crying and apologizing all at once. It seems a lot more was going on than we thought. School, her father's job. Were you eavesdropping? Well, I was curious. I didn't hear anything worth dying over, though. Everyone worries about that stuff during high school, you know? I think we all handle our problems in different ways. I'm glad her family came to visit her. Surgeons aren't really equipped to heal psychological wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sell yourself short. I mean, he cured depression a couple minutes ago. Like, it was impressive. I can only try. Anyway, if her family knows about it, then they can help her. Yeah, I think she'll be fine. Yeah, she needs some medicine. The girl is lucky she was brought to this hospital, though. Huh? Why? Well, it's only a rumor, but I hear there's a death doctor. A what? Euthanasia. Oh my god, isn't euthanasia legal here in Oregon? Oh my god, isn't this like a huge sticking point in the plot and we're like, oh yeah. Let's see, youth, euthanasia, and I'm just gonna do really quick Oregon law. I'm looking it up on my phone, by the way. Yeah, it's the ill, terminally ill patients, only terminally ill patients may legally end to choose, choose to end their own life. It's the Oregon Death with Digni Dignity Act. Yep. But it would, it, she would not have, um, the, if she lived here, we would have been like, ha ha, lol, you're 17, you don't get to make that decision. You are not of legal age to make that decision. If that doctor had been treating her when she asked to die. A death doctor, huh? I can't understand why anyone would want to die. That's because you... You spend a lot of time... You spend a lot of time... Around death and destruction, so you're like... This sucks! <laughs> this chapter was called Please Let Me Live. Derek, we just received some strange results back on Linda Reed. Do they explain the bleeding in her lungs? I don't think it's directly related, but they found extremely high levels of... Cifredrine in her blood. Cifred... What's that? It's a new antihistamine, Doctor. They're usually used to treat allergies. I know what antihistamines do, but why didn't she tell us she was on medication? Because she wasn't. The drugs involving Cifredrine are still in clinical trial. Also, our tests indicated 24 times the suggested dosage. Side effects from overdose include headaches and emotional distress. In extreme cases, mood swings are serious enough to prompt suicide. Oh, shit! Okay. That, that makes me feel better about that she just kind of wanted to die because boys wouldn't date her. And her mom called her a failure once. That may have contributed, but I doubt that was the primary cause. Still, I've never heard of the being synthesized within the body. Whatever's causing might be the source of those lacerations. The doctor! What is it? I knew that that was going to happen when this music cut out. Reed's condition is getting worse. She's complaining about excruciating chest pain. What? It hurts. Linda. Doctor, I want to live. I want to live, doctor. Please. Derek, we're operating now. Angie, alert the staff. Hurry. All right. Are you fucking ready, my dudes? Are you ready? Her blood pressure's decreasing at a frightening rate. We're suspecting hemorrhaging in her lungs again. There has to be some explanations for the lacerations. Until we figure out, that's not a lot we can do. You have two objectives during this operation. Treat any bleeding within the thoracic cavity. Discover the source of the lacerations. Oh, we will. I'll be working as your assistant. Stay I calm, Derek. Save this patient. No, she wants to live. I have to save her. Alright, guys. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Why now? She said she wanted to live. I don't know, and these symptoms don't add up. Derek, take extra care during the- What the? But how? We fixed these three days ago. Derek, Miss Reed is still weak from her first lip lipsectomy. Proceed as normal. 
Are you guys fucking excited? Nope. Are you guys fucking excited for this? Because I very much... Can I get the forceps to work? Thank you. I feel like my operating space is really small because of, like, all of this in the way. I've never felt that way before, but, like... I don't know. I guess it's because my TV's bigger now. Like, I have a widescreen TV and it's not using any of that space. We've cheated our last race. So what's our next step? We need to close her up and have a con closer examination later. What is that? What? What is that? What the hell is going on? What? There it is. Yes. Doctor, we have to get it out of the patient. What if we tried incinerating it with the laser? Good idea, Angie. That's cor that's the correct thing to do. Come here, bitch. It's gone. Angie, using the laser was the right decision. And then it, another one shows up. It can't be! More of them! Derek, you have to burn them all. It's the only way to save her. Well, let's bring her vitals up a little bit because these things do quite a bit of damage. Um, I think that they will almost immediately if you do both. Uh, puncture, bitch. Come here. Shit. Come here. Where's, where did you go? They're really hard for me to see in this game. In the uh, first game, they're really, they're actually really easy to see. Okay, um, big one's coming, so I actually don't know if the big ones are in this game. I mean, in this operation, but let's bring her up a little bit. Oh, there, there's a thing up there. Yeah, okay, big boy. Oop, laser. Uh, laser. And then it dives back in. Let's try and fix some of these up really quick. Ultrasound. Where'd she go? Got him. Fix that one. Ultrasound. Oop. You feel like a little vibration when um, when you uh, get the hit the him with the ultrasound just right so that he will um, stay um, ultrasound. Ultrasounded longer. Don't tell me that weird parasite was one. Guilt? Could it have been guilt? What's going on? Why'd they both stop talking? Uh, Derek, please continue. Oh, that was bad. Damn it, I got a miss right at the end. I don't think she drops into red at all. Linda should finally be able to recover. Thank you, Dr. Styles. All right, so that was our first experience with guilt. But I get A? Okay, because it's probably because I got that miss right at the end. Sad. A single tear. I'd like to remember, remind everyone that the details of this operation should be considered strictly confidential. Bring Linda Reed's medical files to my office immediately. I will provide updates when it more, when appropriate. That is all for today. He put that HIPAA stamp right on there. Doctor, could that have been guilt? How did you know about that? I don't know much. It was mentioned in my father's research. When did your father come across something like guilt? Well, he was a researcher. Other than that, I, I don't really know. Give me some time to ex examine the situation. Until then, don't mention guilt to anyone. Understand? Yes, sir. What the hell is guilt? It, well, it's when you feel bad about something that you did. Alright. Caddius. You know what? I'm actually gonna look up how to say this word because I've actually- I have no idea how to say this word. And I don't want to be embarrassed while I'm doing this LP. I'm here. Please come in. Pardon me, but why was I called to your office? Why don't have you why don't you have a look at this examination report first? What's it for? Linda Reed. What do these headings mean? I don't recognize them. Positive chiral reaction? Guilt positive. Special analysis G1R? Those tests are beyond our capabilities, so we enlisted help from an outside organization. 
The last few years of bizarre disease with varying symptoms has been reported in several isolated cases. The two things they had in common? Each victim's body turned against itself, and they all died. Because of that, we believe each subject was infected with guilt. Oh, gangulated eutrophin immunolatency toxin. Then you think that Reed's illness was... Exactly. Linda Reed is a guilt victim. I'm surprised you were able to treat her without proper resources. It was a difficult operation, but I wanted to save her. Well, that decision may have changed your life. The organization we mentioned before requested that you join them. What? What? Why me? Your healing touch ability allowed you to successfully cure a guilt victim. It really didn't. I just kind of just went in there and smoked it. Because Kiraki's not that big of a deal. What is the organization, anyway? They're an arm of the World Health Organization that specializes in exterminating intractable diseases and threat that threaten mankind. Intraceable, sorry. That was intraceable. They're called... Cadi... Cadus... Caduceus. Us. Cadi... Suche... Us. Fuck it. I don't know. I tried. I looked it up. Oh, wait. Siri will tell me. Caduceus. Did you hear that, everyone? Caduceus. Caduceus. Okay, perfect. Caduceus? I remember seeing them listed in essays on cancer and AIDS treatments. Aren't they the one that eradicated the TFTA influenza last year? Caduceus wants me? What are you gonna do, Derek? You've been offered a chance to work at the forefront of modern medicine. Well, I mean, it's an honor, but it's also sudden. I'm not sure what to do. I mean, it changed my whole life. You don't need to decide right away. Just remember that this is a choice and not an order. The only reason I'm telling you is because an old friend asked me to. To be honest, I'm against you joining Caduceus. What? Why? I don't think a research laboratory is the right environment for you. Didn't you say you wanted to help patients face to face? That's true. You should probably see this as well. A letter? Hiraki, Sunday. Death is denied those who seek it, though it might be their destiny. They search for it like a treasure, but the modern age conceals it. What's this supposed to mean? It arrived at shortly after Linda Reed was hospitalized. We don't know who sent it. Supposedly, these letters arrive shortly before the guilt does. Huh? That means guilt doesn't occur naturally. Which means it might be some sort of man-made virus. The World Health Organization is considering it a terrorist activity. What? So yeah, we're gonna be fighting terrorists, guys! Someone is creating guilt and releasing it into society. We don't have any leads on the who or why, but it's almost as it's meant to confuse us. The UN created a new term to describe it, medical terrorism. Wouldn't it just be... Isn't there already a term for that? Not like eco-terrorism, but like when someone, like, gasses a city. Like, in a war? No, that's chemical warfare. Okay, never mind. Medical terrorism. We'll, we'll stick with that. Sorry. Caduceus is anticipating a large-scale guilt outbreak, and they need skilled doctors to be ready for it. Hopefully now you see the stakes involved in this. Think it over. Don't make your decision lightly. You were a shitty doctor for three fucking years, and now you're getting promoted, and fuck you, Derek. I'm bitter. <laughs> For the greater good. Hope Hospital. Thank you so much, Doctor. It just hurt so badly. I thought I was a goner. Well, appendicitis is a fairly common condition, but congratulations on your recovery, Mr. Sasano. My if my wife gets sick, I'll make sure that you're the one operating on her. Well, it'd probably be better if she didn't get sick at all. I guess that's true. Ha <laughs> ha! Talking with patients is one of my favorite parts of the job. Really? Because at the beginning of this game, you were being a shit. Could I really leave that behind? Derek, we'll be starting the operation briefing soon. Okay. Mitral prolapse and regurgitation. What? Since complications may arise, it's necessary to replace the valve with a synthetic one. Oh, is this the heart surgery? She's a very young child with a valvular heart disease. Yeah! It's a tough decision, but her parents finally decided to go ahead with the procedure. 
There's only one main objecti objective for this operation. Replace the valve in her heart with a synthetic one. You'll be using a triple incision to excise the valve, cut three times. You'll be have to be as cautious as possible. Technology has made a lot of situations much easier for us, but the heart surgery will always rely on a skillful doctor. Angie, keep an eye on the oscillograph to aid Dr. Styles. I understand. Don't let the gravity of this operation intimidate you. The conference is over. She's in Let's your hands begin. now, Derek. I would not trust Derek with this. I would not- I would not trust Derek with this. I really wouldn't. He has been shown to be completely irresponsible at all things. Her report details frequent occurrence of light arrhythmia. Be ready for the Let's unexpected, begin. just in case. We're gonna open her. Fuck off with that shit. Oh no! It's happening already! She's suffering ventricle fibrillation! I'll attempt to solve the convulsions. Three, two, one, clear. Are critical. She's flattening. Ugh. Please! Oh god. Help! <sighs> Doctor, the patient was born with an irregularly, highly irregular heartbeat. This is a good chance her heart will continue to go into convulsions. I'll stand by with the defibrillator in case we need to use it again. If that happens, you'll need to recover her pulse as quickly as possible. The defibrillator has a high success rate, but allowing the heart to flatline repeatedly is obviously very dangerous for the patient. Make sure you revive her right away if it happens. Thank you. You don't need to tell me. Doctor. All right. This is what a heart looks like when it's cut open like this. Holy crap, I don't think it does. We need to drain the blood. Alright, three parts. Is she gonna go in? Is she going down? Okay, she is. Got her right back up immediately. So every time that happens, we have to use the drain. Proceed as normal. Fuck! That was really close. You should have given that to me. Okay. Drain her again. Treatment complete. <gasps> okay, here she goes. Please! Oh, ah! Thank you. Okay, drain. That's the laser! Drain. Give me the thing. Doctor. What the fuck? Okay, she's going in. Yeah, she's going under. Okay. Oh, that was really close. Okay. If you get two close ones, it looks like of like a really close in a row, it'll it'll give it to you. What the? F okay. Whatever. Ugh. She's gonna have fucking burns. For how many times I've botched that. Please. Okay, no. Oh, that was way too soon. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Good work. You're getting better at suturing, she says. The valve transplant is complete. Let's finish up here. Uh, okay. What do I, what do I what do you fucking mean? Oh, okay. What a relief. The operation was a success. Now she can play outside with all her friends. Please close the incision. All right, poor girl, she's too young to go through something like this. Having someone cut open your chest is so unnatural. 
but something in that little heart refused to give up. Maybe it sounds silly, but nice I keep work, thinking Dr. about Styles. it. The human body is truly amazing. I mean, what other option did she have? Like, she's... Yeah. It's really scary to have someone cut you open. Yeah, that was a really bad. I did really bad on that. It's my daughter. Will El Elisa be alright? The operation was a success. She'll need about two months to fully recover before she can even go back to school. After that, she'll be as good as new. I, I don't think so. That's good news, doctor. Oh, thank you so much. People are always worried about heart surgery, especially on children. Oh, I fucking wonder why, my man. But the modern medicine allows us to treat such conditions with much greater success than 10 or even five years ago. Young patients like your daughter face very little risk of permanent physical damage. To be honest, I'm more worried about the psychological stress of the operation, like this might have on a small child. Please take very good care of her during the recovery. Oh, of course. Oh, Elsa. Elsa. Elisa, we love you so much. Modern medicine. I'm very sorry. Modern medicine just hasn't advanced enough to treat a disease like this. You and my condolences. Mom, why are you crying? Dad, it's okay, right? He's gonna get better, right? Why isn't Dad getting better? You can fix him, you gotta. He's my dad. I'm sorry, son. No doctor in the world can save your father from this. Things have come a long way. I forgot about Derek's tragic backstory. I think that's the only time in the entire game it's mentioned. Dr. Hoffman, uh, I think it's the only time in the entire series it's mentioned, actually. I can accept the offer from... C Caduceus, I think it was. You're gonna throw away your own happiness for this? But I know what about happened to you in your past. I know that having superior skills will only create more pressure to succeed. And that everyone expects me to have the answers no one else has. I'm sure those are valid concerns, and the path I've chosen will probably cause me a lot of pain. But I became a doctor so no one would have to die from an incurable disease. Not ever again. Diseases are painful, and losing someone to, dis to disease is even more painful. It's hard for the doctors to tell people their loved ones can't be cured. I'm gonna make sure that they won't have to. Caduceus has already found ways to save thousands of people. If I can somehow help them find cures for incurable diseases, then I'll accept that responsibility. I'm joining Caduceus. All right, I think we're on chapter three. Yes. And we get a special bonus one. We're gonna do our special bonus one next time because my voice is really tired and I need a small break. So, I will see you guys next time for less, I was gonna say less drama, but a little less serious drama, at least for a little while, and then we're gonna get one that's kind of serious again. And then after that, I forget about the rest of this game. So, mwah, deuces, I'll see you later.